myself Tarun Mudgal, assistant professor at BIANI Nursing College. I am behalf on BIANI group of colleges. My topic is stroke, CVA and brain attack. Stroke, CVA, cardiovascular accident and brain attack. Mainly it may be due to any disruption of the tissues, brain tissues caused by increased blood flow or decrease oxygen supply of the brain or metabolic components. Next we will see the etiology. The first is ischemia. Ischemia is a condition where ischemia leads to hypoxia. Ischemia leads to hypoxia that is result that is result in ischemia or lack of O2 yeah decrease O2 level in the brain tissues is called as ischemic condition next one thrombosis any previous condition yeah, any previous disease as a diabetes mellitus or insulin hormone decreases and glucose level high that may be preferred to cause of thrombosis thrombosis means any formation of plug any formation of plug in blood vessels of brain thrombosis of the plug in the brain tissues brain blood vessels next is arthrosis in the artery the level of fat called as a any accumulation of fat, saturated fat, saturated fat, occlusion of the artery, occlusion of the wall of artery or basals. Next one, hypertension. This, this is caused by arteriosclerosis, thrombosis, and ischemia. These all three components prefer hypertension. Hypertension is what? Hypertension is the increasing in the human body blood pressure. Yeah, human blood pressure. So next is rupture of the cerebral blood vessels. Any rupture of the cerebral blood vessels. Any rupture of the cerebral blood vessels due to hypertension, arthrosclerosis, thrombosis and ischemic condition. And next one is aneurysm. Aneurysm means narrowing of the blood vessels narrowing of the blood vessels as like that as like that this is the aneurysm this is the aneurysm aneurysm means narrowing or narrowing or dilation of the blood vessels last one is dm diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus is a factor or risk factor as a etiology of stroke and cva the next one we will say here Pathophysiology, pathophysiology means etiology of uh, due to etiological factor. These means these are the etiological factors which are prominent for a stroke, a CVA, and brain attack. First one, due to etiological factor, inadequate blood flow to the brain tissues. Inadequate blood flow to the brain tissues. For these etiology, it will leads to inadequate blood flow to brain tissue next one ability of metabolic component availability of metabolic component means oxygen plus carbohydrates plus as a glucose In this, these are the metabolic components. In which comp these components are need for any blood cells. These components are used for any blood oblique bodies, blood oblique body cells. So we can say that metabolic components are useful or important for healthy cells or healthy blood cells. Next one, sign and symptoms. Next, we will say here signs and symptoms. These are the clinical manifestations. First one, change in the level of consciousness. 
means the individual who are suffering from stroke and CVA and brain attack is having a condition of change in level of consciousness. The person may be semi-conscious, the person may be unconscious or the person may be altered consciousness. The second one hemiplasia. The one part of the body is paralyzed. The one part of the body is paralyzed is called as hemiplasia due to abnormal blood circulation or abnormal tissue disruption of the brain. The second one is seizure. Seizures, what seizure means? Seizure is the epileptic, uh, epileptic episodes and electrical, unusual electrical impulses in the brain which, uh, uh, which, alter, alternate, uh, which alters the brain functions and seizures and seizures is due to lack of oxygen. We will see in etiology the ischemia. Ischemia is what? Ischemia is the lack of O2 on metabolic component in the brain tissues. Send seizures. Another one is vomiting, weakness, numbness, trouble in speaking. The, the patient or the individual can't be speak properly because he is in unconscious level. Yeah, for semi-conscious level due to changes in the level of consciousness. The third one is visual changes, increasing IOP, increasing in IOP uh, in the brain, the visual changes are occurs, impaired judgment and impaired sensory and motor functions. These are the clinical manifestations. Now we see the next diagnostic evaluation. The diagnosis of this disease are enumerate here first one history collection and physical examination first one history collection history collection about his personal history physical history working history occupational history and dietary history and the next one physical examination physical examination about for seizure unconsciousness and uh, impaired sensory and motor functions. The th sec third one is a CT scan. CT scan is the computer computerized tomography which means the imaginations of the patient of the brain. The second one is EEG. Electric encephalogram. Electric encephalogram is a electric uh, electrical uh, device which is which is used in brain function used in determine the brain function and proper functioning and normal state normal conditions the another one is MRI. MRI is the three dimensional imaging device in which the three dimensional images are obtained from the MRI of the brain and body. And the next one is PET positron positron imaging transmission. In this, this is a glucose plus chemical agent preparation. It detects the any changes, any changes in the brain or cell dysfunctions. Cell dysfunctions. These are the diagnostic evaluation. And last one, treatment. Treatment for this disease. The patient should not be allowed because there is a chance of seizures. It means the patient having seizural episodes second one antihypertensive drug antihypertensive drug which may decrease the hypertension or bp and second one anti vomiting to depress the vomiting centers so this is my topic it is closed thank you thank you and thank you